Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to A Young Fire. My name is Dumito WMJ, and thank you so much for joining me for today's video right here on A Young Fire. This is a channel for young people who are number one, on fire for God, number two, passionate about purpose, and number three, enthusiastic about life and the future. If you believe you are like us, there's a subscribe button there, there's a notification bell. Do what you need to do because I've been telling you over the past couple of two, three weeks, and you are not. I'm serious. Click. Like that. Uh huh. The bell? No, the bell. See the bell? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, since now we have that out of the way, if you're already part of the Fire Fam, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. I really, really thank you so much for the support, for the continued support. You guys are doing amazing stuff. Um, I see your, your your statuses on WhatsApp, your social media posts that you tag me on. If you don't tag me, please do add to me WMJ on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. Um, if you tag me, I, I can share it and I can, and I can say thank you and I can show... Um, gratitude so please do the things so that i'm able to to do the things as well and we both do the things and everything does the things and you know those things <laughs> so without get wasting any more time let's get into today's video to be doing something that I absolutely love doing. I'm sure you saw me play around with my speaker. My speaker is out. Yes, there you can see it's the speaker. Yes, it's out. And you know when the speaker comes out, there's something nice that's going to happen. Um, today we're going to specifically be looking at a worship team called Faith City Music. Um, a couple of weeks ago, in fact a month or two ago, uh, one of my friends recommended this team to me. In fact, he saw it, right? And then he said, I've been meaning to tell you about this. There's a group called Faith to music you need to listen to them you need to listen to them and I was like okay cool um, I, I YouTube them and I was like what what are you serious right now and I was like absolutely blown away and one of the other things of, of course for me that's like that little thing on top is the fact that Miranda Curtis is a part of that team you guys know I absolutely, well, if you don't know it already, those who know me know that I absolutely love Miranda Curtis' ministry. I love the lady. I follow her and I love, love, love her. I love her music. I love the spirit that she carries in worship. I just love the way she carries herself and the way she leads God's people in worship. So I hope that you guys are also going to love this uh, uh, video. You're going to love the music that you're going to listen to. And another thing, you can you can check the link in the description box below. I'll definitely put it in. And I absolutely am going to have a ball. I, I picked 10 songs that I liked, right? But they've got a lot of others that you can listen to at different points in time. So what they actually do is that they... they they record their Sunday morning worship and put it um, on, the, on the channel. So some people are able to, to watch it live. And then the rest of us who are not... Um, watching live are able to catch up on it later on. I'm not really sure where they're from. I think they are from Maryland in somewhere in America and you will see like when you see some of the clips that I'm gonna show you guys you'll definitely see hold on. These ones are from that side because if it was here in South Africa <laughs> I don't know that. You know what I think we should do actually? I think but no that's not right. I actually don't think that's right because what I was about to say is that I think we should now also look at South African worship leaders and then not critique them but talk about how they can be better. I don't know. Tell me what you think about it. Personally, I'm already feeling some type of way about it because I know that, you know, a lot of us can be really touchy about these subjects. So I'm not sure, but I think this is something, it would be something nice to do. But let's not waste any more time let, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna stop playing the music um one thing that i did also is that i compiled it into a playlist so that you can go onto um one of my on my playlists you'll just see it's written um faith city music absolute faves um that is the music 
that um, I like. Okay, so I'm going to play the first song and I hope that you guys can recognize the song. The song's name is I Call You Holy. So they mixed it with another song and this so the, the song I Call You Holy. So in most of the songs you will see they have more than two songs in one video. So you are able to at least enjoy more than one song. Um, so the song is by the legendary Tony McClurkin. He, he sang it first, but let's go. I'll call you holy. Holy you are and holy you be. Righteous you are, and righteous you be. I call you awesome. Your name is awesome. You are so awesome to me. Your name is awesome, awesome you are, and awesome you be. Yebu, 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 yebu. Hey, anybody look up to be faithful? I call you faithful. Your name is faithful. You are so faithful to me. Faithful you are, and faithful you be. I call you healer. Your name is healer. You are the healer to me. Absolutely amazing stuff. These guys are that good like they can sing a song and this it sounds like it was a recording it sounds it sounds mixed and mastered of course like you know with the production side of things they probably like mix and master um for live productions and they make sure that it's it's production ready and it's broadcast ready but man this is on a sunday service it's not a was on fast fast like and then sing it's like a we know what we're doing and we're very intentional about excellence we are very intentional about what how we want to sound how we want to look um, one of the other things that i've really that i've noticed about them and their administrations is that they have themes right so they've got themes for every service and what they do is the stage the dressing uh, the, the branding everything about that particular service looks um specifically like that i'm gonna play one of the songs right i think it was um um it was it was african melody and oceans right where they had a caribbean um a caribbean feel to it and it looked absolutely amazing i mean these are the kind of things that make church look absolutely amazing look crisp look fresh look clean you know because if the world can do it for whatever they're doing why can't we do it for jesus i mean so I was telling you guys about Miranda Curtis just a little bit earlier that she's part of this worship team and that's one of, of course my favorite things and the next song I'm gonna play for you guys is called Open Heaven and you see the thing about this song right there's a point in my life well I'm that kind of person that some points in my life or a season in my life is categorized by a specific song because I'm that guy who's gonna play that one song <laughs> every single day before I wake up every every single time that something is happening in my life every single time I'm praying I'll be playing that one song so the miracles that come out of that prayer the the things that happen and the testimonies that I get will just be wrapped up around that song so the moment I play the song so many things rush to my mind and the goodness of God you know and the things that God has said to me that I've seen come to pass I remember just by listening to the song we bless your name we bless 
I didn't think they were going to do this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Where his glory shall be revealed. Where the sin sakes all shall heal. We are under an open heaven. Hey! We are under an open heaven. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm singing along, you know? Because like... Like, show! Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear? Ooh. We are under an open heaven. We are under an open heaven. We are under. They are seeing it exactly like the actual cast. An open heaven. One thing about Miranda is that she will come through every single time. Every single time this girl sings, she will come through. She will make sure that she's singing the right song the right way. You know, I don't, I don't, I wonder if she ever has like one of those days she wakes up and she's like, nah, today's not working. I can't sing the song the same way and I don't want to sing it the same way. So, like, and this song also has that, that Lion King kind of feel. I don't know if I'm the only one who hears it, but it just says, like it's got that yeah no i'm feeling it um i'm gonna play you something else so the next song is sang by pastor tim bowman who is i think i'm not really sure but i think he is the um the music director at this or the, the worship pastor at um spirit faith ministries which is um the church where Faith City Music singers come from and I he is absolutely amazing um, I he like he definitely became one of the people that I look up to immediately um, immediately I heard him sing so I'm gonna play one of the songs that he sang he did reckless love and listen you, you will never look at that song the same way after you listen to this The musicians, man. Yeah. 
myself away Never ending I really wish I could play the whole song so that you can just really catch that spirit because there's an anointing that, that is just there, you know, an anointing of worship, an anointing of miracles that these guys stir when they start ministering. And man, I was just like, hmm. I'm going to play one of the other songs. Um, he did this one with Miranda Curtis. And it's one of those songs also that, you know, it's like, for, for example, they do African medleys as well. So you can see that these people are worship leaders, you know, they're not coming there and singing their own songs that they wrote, which is great. You know, writing your own songs is great and singing new songs unto the Lord. But there is, there's, there's a responsibility you have when you are a worship leader. You know, you can't only just do the things that you like. You know, you have to do and accommodate everybody else because you are leading God's people into worship. You know, you are not just coming in and singing your favorite stuff and praying and thinking that everybody's going to be blessed by your favorite music you're not coming there to sing your playlist you're coming there to 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 lead people in worship so at different points in time you actually really have to be cognizant of that so let us listen to the african melody Ooh. i'm so in love I Jesus I'm so in love with you Whatever you want me to do I'm so in love with you Ah uh, Yes This is the this is the day they came This is the day this is the day they came wearing um, the Caribbean stuff, so it was looking absolutely amazing. So you will see a clip somewhere. I'll, I'll just hoi on a picture and a clip somewhere here so that you can see it. Udra. I don't know if I can stand When I wake up. so that you guys can can hear um, the music so I'm gonna go to the next one quickly so another thing that I really like um, that Faith City Music does right is that they do tributes to um, different artists that um, have given us a good or have contributed so much to the gospel music body of knowledge in terms of giving us music and giving us songs over the years these guys take those songs and create a beautiful medley you know of course then they send out um, uh, that notification to to whoever the artist is so there's one thing about a worship team right that the 
for you to know that a worship team is tight and they know what they're doing <laughs> is when they can sing someone else's song and i think maybe for me that's just also something that i actually really like um, someone who takes someone's song and sings it the way they sing you know appropriates it to themselves and makes it absolutely amazing you know these guys also sang oceans by uh, hillsong and you know how different oceans is when it's being sung by hillsong you know doesn't have like the full um the full like a huge choir so and many voices let me rather say that you know it just probably has two or three people who are singing the song and they are saying it and they sounded amazing their harmonies is absolutely amazing this uh, playlist is Kirk Franklin and Fred Hammond these two men like they take me back to like my salvation days where I was very young and I was a young guy and I was listening to many of their songs and you know they they kind of helped and taught us how to worship God and how to sing and how to put yourself and pour your heart in there so I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it because I absolutely loved it <laughs> um, let's listen to Fred Hammond first <laughs> Do you remember these songs, Marquez? Ah. 
15 years old listening to this making the noise it's in your face Ah. In these times, Jesus, Jesus, be your friends. I really want to go to. I want to go to. I want to go to this other one, right? And because of the nature of melodies, man, these songs go on and on and on, and they are absolutely amazing. There's this particular one, of course, and um, that we all know. <laughs> you know, Fred Hammond is, is known for these songs, and I hope that you absolutely love it. Come on, Pastor Tim. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. You are the living word. Awesome ruler. Awesome ruler. Gentle redeemer. Come on, come on. You are. Come on, you guys need to sing along. Hey. Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call you. That's what we call you. The major the major You to say you got my team. You are the king So this reminds me specifically, right, of 2006, 2006, we sang this song, um, I had just joined the choir, I think, was it 2005, but I had just joined the choir, and um, Seven Zile and Dudumesh, well, Pastor Dudumesh now, were, were the choir leaders back then, and they were absolutely amazing and we sang this song i don't know what we were preparing for but we were there I don't, I'm, I'm sure Lalata was also there um and there was a lot of us and we i was still learning how to sing at the time and there was this particular lady and I, i'm saying learning in terms of learning how to sing parts because i didn't really know how to sing parts and sing turn and sing i just say i just sang back in the day you know and she was teaching me parts and you know she would be very strict and she would be singing this in my ear you know she'd be going and she'd be going and she'd be going and this was one of those songs that would would be ringing in your mind the whole time that man this manger born by on a tree you died to save humanity listen th these were the kind of songs that we were singing back then and they really grounded me in the faith they really grounded me you know born no weapon formed against me shall prosper those are the kind of songs that i used to listen to and man ah such fun memories such fun memories that one has and just thinking about it what we've been doing this for a long time we've been doing this for a while so one of the songs that of course you know came and like hit me like a mighty rushing wind was gyra you know i had listened to gyra before i had heard other people sing it and i had seen also people posting it and, and having heard it from chandler moore and um elevation church in maverick city and Man, when these guys did it, right, of course I'm being a little bit biased because I'm listening to their music, but they did something to me, man, and I'm going to play that before. Ooh. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can know to let you down. Doesn't take a trophy 
to make you smile. Hey, Moshaha. I'll never be more loved than I am right It's the sincerity for me, honestly. Going through a storm. Let's go. Shira, you are in love. Shira, you are in love. I will be content in every circumstance. You are Shira, you are in love. Hey, that's my line, that's line. More than enough, more than enough, Jesus. I don't want to forget how I feel right now. On the mountain top, I can see so clear what it's all about. Yeah. Stay by my side. Come on, raise it, guys. Raise it, raise it. Come on, let's go. Ah, like these guys can put you right in that space, man. You can go inside, like inside. I'm gonna play. I think ye, just play one more. I put I put like ten songs there, but some of them are like kind of repetitions. I'm seeing it now as I'm as I'm as, as I'm looking at it now. But you're definitely going to enjoy it. So before um, we say goodbye, before we say goodbye, guys, it's important that. As children of God, we give ourselves to always worshipping Him and always really um, engaging in worship because worshipping and praising God is not only about Him but it also has to do a lot with us. So it helps you to always affirm, you know, and, and stir up God's presence in your life, the power of God and the atmosphere to make sure that you are living a life of the miraculous, you know. You know, it's, it's like that thing. Um, the scripture in the Bible where an instrumentalist was called to come and play and as he started playing the, the anointing started welling up you know and it was so strong um, in, in that specific situation you know so imagine in any time in your life whenever you need it whatever is happening you can start play a song you know start singing start worshiping God and see you know lift up your hands and just be like Lord here I am you know, um, it doesn't matter. I've always been that guy. Even when I used to walk, I remember, even when I used to walk, I used to be a student, I used to walk. I would sing on my way. I would always be singing. You know, I would always find myself singing, you know, singing a new song to the Lord all the time and continuing. So the last one for the day, of course, I left the best for last. <laughs> well, I left one of my favorites for last. Um, and that is Uncle Kirk. <laughs> And we did a medley like we did. It's like a tribute to the one they did for uh, for Fred Hammond. And I hope that you guys are gonna like this one. I'm gonna take a bit of my time because. Be so happy. I never knew I'd be so sad. Oh, let's get it.
Yo, what are you guys doing? No, what is this? What is going on? What are you guys doing? <laughs> what? It's like I'm listening to them the first time. Like, do you really, really want Yo, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing a lot of a lot more playlists and I hope that you guys enjoy those as well. Um, I'm thinking of a couple of groups. I'm thinking of a couple of uh, worship teams. If you know anybody that I can watch on YouTube or listen to their music, please hold your comments in the section and the comment section below. Let me know who to look out for. I can't, I can't wait, you know. I absolutely love music. I love listening to it. And we love praising and worshiping God. So have a good one. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, do the things. Yeah, one good to get she's Go hot, go busy, go la, go sweeps, go. So do the things and ensure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I will check you guys on my next upload. Have a good one. Rain down on me Holy Ghost Rain down on me Guys, there's still more music There's still more music Is this vlog, like, did we end this video? Because wow Oh, how I love the name Jesus Thank you, Lord.